for uh, term limits for the members of Congress? Yes. And, and here's, the, here's the hard part about doing it, and I'll tell you how we solve it. The hard part is you need 75% of congressmen to support it for an amendment. That's never going to happen because they are the very problem is the, term, the absence of term limits. So here's how you fix that. Say that, I don't love this, but it's how you do it. Say that they get grandfathered in, but after them, anybody who takes it is term limited. Anybody gets it like this. So that, that allows us to get it. And then eight year term limits for the bureaucracy. Not just for Congress, but if I'm president and I'm term limited for eight years, which is good, anybody's reporting to me in the bureaucracy is also term limited for eight years. That's how you drain the swamp. Perfect. Thank you. What's up, guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. This is a town hall that we went to in Iowa at a pizza ranch. We saw a vague, and uh, I had asked you guys what questions you wanted me to ask, and that was uh, the question I got from a subscriber. It was the only question I got, and it was about term limits for members of Congress, and essentially his answer was he supports it, but the current senators and congressmen would have to be grandfathered in because that's the only way that they would vote for it, which I think makes total sense. And uh, so if you guys want to see more, I will be going to see Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump. So let me know in the comments below what questions you guys want me to ask, and I will certainly do that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.